Here we have the Rattus Arabian Traders mini expansion. Now, the purpose of this expansion is really to bring Mercatus, which is the third expansion, together with Africanus, which is the second expansion. So because Africanus introduced a new class card, a new type of class card, which is the um, uh, Islamic class, uh, and Mercatus introduced trading into Rattus, what this expansion does is allows you to use trading with that Islamic class as well. And also by combining those different expansions, um, this will let you use Mercatus with up to five or six players, which is what Africanus offered. So really, you're only going to want Arabian traders if you have Mercatus and you have Africanus. This kind of makes them interact a little better and a little cleaner than they did previously. Let's have a little look at what's in the box. So Rattus Arabian Traders is just a four tile uh, mini expansion for Rattus, but in order to use it you're going to need the Rattus Africanus expansion and the Rattus Mercatus expansion. So this really is only for completists, um, people who have got all of the Rattus stuff. And essentially it functions like a little patch because what it does is it introduces the use of coins and goods tokens to the Islamic class. Now the Islamic class was introduced in the Africanus expansion um, and so you couldn't use this card if you only had the base game so you need the africanus expansion but it introduces the use of these coins and the region cards now the region cards are from africanus the coins are from ratus mercatus the other expansion so this card merges the two things together and uses elements of both now i don't think it's necessary really to use the region cards and the tokens from Mercatus because they have quite a similar impact on the game. They push you to try and complete majorities in certain regions of the board. And in fact, the goods tiles and, um, from Mercatus do it much more successfully in my mind than the region cards in Africanus. So this card is like a little patch that merges the two games, uh, the two, two expansions, but the rules for it are fairly complex. Um, discard one region card for a region where you have a majority. Exchange one of your goods tokens of the same type as the token in that region to gain five coins and draw a new region card. Essentially, that's what you have to do. I tend to paste up the rules on the back of my cards um, so I can keep track without having to look everything up all the time. But these are the sort of cards that I tend to avoid when I'm playing Rattus because they're hard to explain to players, it takes a while to get your head around it, and it just all slows the game down. So for me, that is not a particularly useful card to have in the game. This card is a little better. This means that when you're moving the camel piece from the Africanus expansion, he will, instead of just giving you cubes, which he does in the other game, he will give you in the other expansion, he will now give you coins um, from the Mercatus expansion. Now that is quite a useful little merger of the two games. It, it, it works quite nicely. Um, these two are a little bit more, um, well, they're, they're just related to Mercatus, really. This one lets you buy an extra goods token for a coin on your turn. And this one means that when you sell, other players are going to take a cut of, of what you earn. Um, so, so they're quite useful, those, those two cards there. Um, and, and, and this one's pretty good too. But I don't know who this is marketed at because I think the, the number of people who have Rattus and Rattus Africanus and Rattus Mercatus. Each time, you know, the number of people who own those is, is diminishing. So the people who are going to need Arabian traders is going to be a fairly small market. But if you have the two, it's nice to be able to put them together. Um, and so that's when you'd want to get this mini expansion, Arabian traders. There is one other thing that Arabian traders does, and that is to add a new type of good to the game. So we have these pottery tokens. We also have a few new coins added to the game. What that means is that you can now play Mercatus with five or six players because we've now got enough goods to go round and enough money to go round. However, in order to do that, you're still going to need Africanus expansion because you need the additional space, the additional board, the additional board and the additional cubes. So it doesn't, strictly speaking, turn Mercatus into a five or six player game, 
Um, what it means is that if you want to play a five or six player game and you have the Africanus expansion which allows you to do so, you can now use Mercatus expansion in that as well. Um, whereas if you tried to play a five or six player game of Africanus with the Mercatus um, contents and you don't have this patch, the Arabian Traders, then it's not going to work. Um, so it's an odd little product. I've not seen many board game sort of patches like that that just kind of make other expansions sort of go together um, and why this stuff wasn't just included in the Mercatus base game um, I'm not sure I suppose it's because some of the cards then wouldn't be usable you wouldn't be able to use the Islamic cards that feature in here if you just have Mercatus. It's a slightly confusing problem and I'm sure it's a confusing problem for the publishers to fix um, but as a result we end up with this odd little mini expansion Rattus Arabian Traders you're only going to need it if you want to have Mercatus and Africanus working together. And in that case, you're going to need Arabian traders.